One person watching. Hello, one person. Can still pull in the numbers. One person. Is that me? <laughs> Am I the one person? I watch myself play games all the time. I got the music. Well, while I wait for people, um, one thing I've been doing on the weekend is trying to fix this Sega Mega Drive for streaming. So this was a spare Mega Drive I had, and um, I didn't know it didn't work. It, it was just in my box of extra stuff and like it looks in mad condition but I hadn't even looked inside it um, I just added I just wanted to add an S video port to it because this is streaming with an S video port and I thought hey that's pretty good it's pretty crisp and I thought maybe it's not hard to add an S video port to one of these you just got to build a little video application circuit which I did but it turned out you should always check your hardware first before you do the mod. But this doesn't work. So the yes, video port doesn't work either because this isn't working. So. so I've been trying to fix this all weekend. I don't know. It, 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 I think it might be the clock, the crystal. Uh, I'm hoping it's that because if not, it's one of these chips. <laughs> Because I've checked for dry solar joints, there aren't any, the boards are like pristine condition, there's no corrosion, um, I've reflowed all the connector pins on the cartridge slot, um, I reflowed all the pins on every IC on the board, um, so, and I, I just downloaded a schematic um, for this one, which is a VA4 board, and it's, it, it's sort of indicating that it could be the crystal, but it still could be one of these chips. How big is the crystal? The crystal sort of... It looks like it's gotten very hot at some stage. Like, half of it's like metal. Half of it's like shiny. And the other half like looks like sort of... I don't know, like it's been affected by heat or something. Um, so that makes me think maybe something went bad with the crystal. And... Yeah. Um, I don't have an oscillator to check it, so... But I might get one been buying some crazy electronic testing tools lately, so... <sighs> What's that? Alright. So I played this last time, and I got to the very end, and then died. And I thought, I might try it again. How's it going, uh, Impaling Prince? Uh, yeah. So, um... I thought I'd give it another shot because I quite like this version. I like it. Oh, no. oh, oh. oh yeah. Picture. Oh, I already said it. I seem to crack the shits when I change <laughs> the control. Waiting the new animated movie. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm gonna order it from uh, website. I'm gonna import it. Hey side, hello the guy. Yeah, so I played this last time. Uh, as I said. And we came so close to beating it. And I want another shot at it. 
because I love this game. Deep Space Remake? No. Who remade it? Oh, I call bullshit on that baseball head. Get fucked. That went right through him. Where are you, Linda? There you are. She likes baseball bats. In the face. That's what you get for being a street punk. Trying to start trouble. Hello, Barrel Man. You want some more, Linda? She's back for more! She likes getting hit in the face. <laughs> EA released a trailer for a remake of Dead Space. Ah, uh, game by one of its in-house developers. Oh, okay. I'm gonna check that out. No, oh, I didn't see that. Crazy. I love that game. I never beat the second one. Like, literally, my save is on the last game. Person. I just got so got so sick of dying that I was just like fuck this. <laughs> I wanna try something. I need to figure out where to punch him front on without him getting me. Yes, it's hard, he grabs you. Okay, better Cause I'm gonna need that. I shouldn't have done that. I need the life. <laughs> Gotta start again. I shouldn't have done that. But I, I, I wanted to try it because, um, because later on I need to do it uh, on the stupid guy that when it's like 2D playing. So. AMB twice is a big damage uppercut. AMB twice? No, it's not. That's a fly kick, dude. What are you talking about? What's that? AMB is a fly kick. Look. Fly kick. Fly kick. Come here, baseball bat man. You like bats, huh? You like playing with baseball bats, huh? Huh? Well, how about I use it on you? You idiot. That, yeah, this isn't Double Dragon 2. Why would you say that? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just playing with you. Hey, watching the new He-Man? I watched I watched two episodes 
and then I fell asleep last night watching the third one. <laughs> and uh, that's a combination of things. I usually just fall asleep watching shit. But it really wasn't, like, impressing me that much. Like, the animation and music is great, but all the, like, the subtle, like, woke undertones, like, oh, like, fuck, fuck who I used to be. I was, I used to be Teela. I used to be a great warrior for the kingdom. Fuck all that. Fuck you, king. Fuck you, man. I quit. And now I'm a lesbian. You know, with a girlfriend, even though we don't say it directly, like, and, you know, fuck everybody, you know, and fuck all the men. Well, kill all the men off and or if they're not killed off will they uh you know banish them away and just fucking ah oh, just terrible like fucking terrible to do that to that show like i i actually um i wouldn't call myself a he-man fan but I, i've always liked the show like i know uh my best friend uh his brother-in-law he's a massive he-man fan they have all the figures, all the shearers, everything. I'm, I'm talking fucking everything. They have everything He-Man, right? These people are mega fans. Um, I'm not that. I, I uh, did watch the show when I was a kid. And I actually went out recently and I bought um, the original He-Man box set and the Shearer box set. You know, because it's classic animation. It's classic cartoons. It's not that I was the hugest fan of the show. Or anything, but like it's it, when you watch it, the writing was quite good, the stories were quite good, the animation's nice, it has a great score. Um, those old cartoons, you don't get that style anymore. Um, and it's it was great seeing it. And in the old cartoon, um, it was I always felt it was very balanced. Like it, He Man and Prince Adam are the main is the main character. Just like you can have any show that can have a female lead as the main character and a male sidekick. In that show, it's just okay. The show's called He Man. It's a it's about a man who's strong and powerful and muscly. And yeah, it was to cater to the boys. You know, um, it's, we all want to be super strong when you are young. You know. Um, but in that show, instead of just having all male characters that are super strong and fighting each other, they had some really diverse female characters in there. They had Teela, who was always at Prince Adam's side. So if you watch the original He-Man, right, but basically each episode would either start out with Adam talking to Duncan, or Adam talking to Teela, or Adam maybe talking to King Randall. One of those three main characters, or maybe Cringer, I guess. Um, so, um, basically, in all the combat situations of He-Man, like uh, Prince Adam and Teela, um, essentially were fight, uh, training side by side to be strong and be, you know. Um, let me turn this down. <clears throat> Um, yeah, strong and equal. Uh, oh, not strong and equal. Um, training to be strong and, like, you know, protectors of the kingdom, right? And so Prince Adam and Teela were basically uh, on par. If not, Teela was actually probably stronger than Prince Adam. Because Teela was um, Duncan's daughter. Duncan was Man at Arms, right? Man at Arms was in charge of, like, the army of the kingdom, right? Um, Man at Arms knew that uh, Adam was He Man. And for that, they, they, it was a secret that they kept. And they worked together on He Man related things. Um, and then you got. Um, Stop ringing. I can't talk when it's doing it. Okay. Then you got, um, basically that he man. Oh my God. All right. Um, no oh man, now I've lost track. It takes one thing to throw my, 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 um, trader thought off. So you had, um, Prince Adam and Duncan that would talk to each other and he knew he's he man and that was a secret, right? And so, um, Duncan respected Adam for that. Even though Adam wouldn't fight as Adam, he would fight as He-Man, 
He would always be seemed to be hiding or a coward and never around when things got bad. And then he would tra train with Teela and she'd give him shit for it as well. And Teela was actually probably a more powerful warrior than Adam. As when Adam is Adam and Teela is Teela, she would one-up him a lot in the training. She was more disciplined than Adam. But when Adam became He-Man, he had the power of Grayskull. It was a bit different. He could pick up rocks and he was just mega strong and, you know, he was the most powerful man in the universe, right? So, I, I always felt it was very diverse. And then the show was so popular, they made Shira. And Shira was definitely aimed at the chicks, you know. They, they put more female characters in it. Um, they had more things that would appear to girls, like, um, you know, the horse fly and shit, you know, and had wings and stuff. You know, so... Um, I felt that bo uh, both shows were very diverse. The first, He-Man, not only had Teela as a strong female character, had uh, Prince Marlena as the queen, uh, and you had Evil Lynn on the bad side. So I don't understand why they had to make all these changes when they brought He-Man back. And the 2002 He-Man was, like, fantastic. Like, I love that show. I watched the hell out of that show whenever it was on. I've even got the, the VHS tape from when it premiered still. The first three episodes. Oh, my God. And, um... Oh, just give me one second. I've got to take this call. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, 2002 He-Man was awesome. I loved that show. Loved it. So, this He-Man is really good. The animation's great. The soundtrack's great. But they've shoveled that crap in there. There's no reason to do it. They did the same thing with Mortal Kombat 11. The same thing with Star Wars. The same thing with everything else. Even the last Mortal Kombat, the latest Mortal Kombat movie had a touch of it in there. Do you know what I mean? And this is no fucking reason to do it. There is no reason. Why do it? When the old show had diverse characters in it. Like... The most diverse characters ever in the, in the original He-Man. There's literally a frog man. There's a frog man. A robot man. A fucking a fish man. Well, how's that for diverse? Like, ah, just pisses me off. And, and, and the reason why I hate it so much, I wouldn't hate it if they put it in a good way, but they literally swap out characters to change their race or gender or their sexual orientation and, and when they do that it makes it so cringy and it's never put in there as, as a seamless part of the story it's like clearly make that character you know what right and i know like people who work on movies have you ever heard of the diversity officer you know on film productions now they have someone called the diversity officer this is no bullshit and they will overlook your script and your film production and say, how many Asians are in it? How many African Australians are in it? How many uh, lesbian people are in it? How many gay people are in it? How many trans people are in it? And the less shit you have, the more likely that they are to not make your film. Like, they, they look over it. And if you don't have any of that bullshit, you might not... What, your movie might not... Um, 
be set up for those characters in the movie, but they make you still put some of that shit in. And you can't be like, okay, this guy in the background, I'll make him Asian or whatever, right? It has to be like a main character. Otherwise, then you'll see, no, 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 no. That's what you're doing. You can't do that. That's just a no-name character. It has to be someone who's like in charge and important and like the, like the second main character. Of, that's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fuck man! I was like, I was like, well, anyway, that's how I feel about the new He Man. Um, Kevin Smith. I mean, everyone's saying Kevin Smith lied. He, he did, but he wanted to protect some of the plot points. I kind of get it, but he he did it in a very sneaky way, a very Hollywood way. I wouldn't say it was like an outright lie against someone, but he definitely didn't admit when the fans said. It's going to be all about Teela. He didn't say, you're right. Well, he couldn't. But we all knew that's what the show was going to be about. And that's exactly what they did. They gave her the shaved haircut. They they reduced her boobs. They reduced her hips. They made her look fugly. Do you know what I mean? She throws a, a, her crown away in her long hair. She's like, fuck that. I'm, I'm not like that anymore. Like, it's literally in the show that she does that. It's like, fucked. I can't stand it. Like, it's just... It's it's forced. It's so forced. That's why I hate it. Like, if it didn't affect the story in that, I wouldn't care. But it does. Because they write all this cringy shit into the script. All this nonsense. You know, for no reason. It's like, can't you just make the fucking show like it used to be? Can't you just go, okay, we've got the original He-Man, we're going to fucking do this and that. Uh, and without someone going, you know what? Let's get rid of all the men. Like, well, the the biggest fuck you to, to male characters. The biggest fuck you ever. Let's make a show called... Oh, we won't call it He-Man anymore. We'll literally take He-Man out of the title. And we'll call it Masters of the Universe. And all the masters are women. <laughs> it's like... And that's fine. Like I said, in the old show, in the old show, there were masters of the universe that were women and men. It wasn't one-sided. It wasn't all women or all men. It was just a nice little mix-up, uh, mash-up of evil and good characters, you know, women and men, the animal characters, fucking... I don't, I don't see any reason that they need to hit it with the woke stick. All right, anyway, going back to Double Dragon now. Um, hang on, let me just catch up on the, the chat. 2002 was great. Yeah, it was great. That card end was awesome, man. I don't know why the fuck they cancelled that. It was so great. It was really good. Um, I had trouble, like, sort of... Like, I think Australia got the first season, but I don't... Were there two seasons? I can't remember if it's two or three. It either got cancelled after season two. I don't think Australia even got season two. I think America did, and I don't think we even got season two. And then there was no season three at all. <clears throat> Luke Skywalker voices Skeletor. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mark Hamill. <clears throat> it's the same in British shows like East Enders or Coronation Street. They try to fill diversity quota. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's what I was talking about, the diversity officers. Literally someone on these sets and um, behind the scenes that you don't know about. Uh, in these film productions. I know, because I know people, like, movies being worked on right now in Australia. I know about this shit, and it's true. Okay? This person exists. <clears throat> Here comes Brown Man.
Ah, uh, what the fuck? It glitched on me. I pr I'm I'm watching the I'm watching the replay. I pressed left, and it said I pushed down and fell down. That's a fucking glitch. Because the the edge was only to the left, not down. What the fuck? Gotta do it again. No, because I need all the lives. I need all the fucking lives for the the hard part, the cave part. Last time I just elbowed that guy. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> Although I just disappeared. Mysterious vanishing barrel. can hurt me? You suck.
<laughs> I love hitting him off the edge. <laughs> Earned. I don't believe it! Fuck! I can't believe that cunt fly kicked. I can't believe that. Oh! The, uh, literally, the end of that level is like the cave part where I need the lives. I can't believe that. I won't risk that next time. I won't risk it next time. Not for the, the easy kill. I can just beat him normally. I met a famous YouTuber in Manchester the other week. He claimed to be Xbox Ahoy in his videos and had millions of views. His videos are very articulate yet in person he seems very disheveled. <laughs> okay, well, could be him. In the on camera, can't you match him up? Or do you think it's crap? How's it going, uh, Mega VN? Fanny, our fan?
much of what everyone's talking about with being bad. Well, you missed it, dude, because I just did a whole rant ten minutes ago about how it's full of diverse bullshit that brings the show down, brings the writing down, changes things that are canon in the story. Oh. Um, yeah, so don't agree with you on that one, mate. Never really watched the old school He-Man. I watched one from the 2000. Yeah, see, I watched that one, and that didn't have any of that garbage in it. That 2002 one was awesome, and the 84 one was the same. It was just all level and balanced. Didn't need to force all that stuff in there in the new one. It's got all the forced diversity in it. Just brings it down. No, honestly, you're going to tell me you watched the new He-Man and He-Man's not in it and you're fine with that. Come on, dude. my elbow.
I fucked up on something. I forgot to do it. I did- stupid me, I did it on the first lift. When the lifts come, there's this thing. The Game Boy, when it scrolls, when it scrolls across, it slows down, um, your action. So, like a normal jump will do like, whoop, like that. But when it's scrolling, it's like, whoop, like, and it falls short because of the scroll, because of the push. So what you do is when you land on the second lift, you got to make sure that you tap, keep tapping right a bit so the screen moves across. So you're not, when you do do that second jump, you're not jumping into the scroll, if that makes sense. Because it always nerfs your jump and you always die. And I did it on the first one. And then I just, I don't know, I just thought it was fine on the second one. I won't restart though, because I want, I want to try my, um, I want to try my trick on, um, big guy. Let's see if it works again. Last time I just elbowed him right off the edge and it was awesome. And I want to see if I can repeat that. Without getting oh shit. That is that gonna get me? That's gonna get me. That's gonna get me. That's gonna get me. You fucker! Oh mate skills! I got skills. The cat the rock came early. Anyway. This is what I mean about you just tap to the right. Make sure it scrolls over. Before you do the jump. And then do your jump. And then CC. Tapping right, tapping right. See how it scrolled those few times? You want it to do that. See? Again, more scrolling. And then that's about it. Yep. Alright, now we're gonna jump. There we go. That's not as bad. And then tapping right again. Scroll it over. More tapping. I don't know why. Shit. This is what I mean. That's why I need the lives. Because it's shit like that. Like, he didn't even hit me. He just, I just bounced off him. But last time, I fly kicked straight over him. Like, no problem. This is the only, like... Like, the rest of the game is kind of hard. There's, like, some shit. But this is the part that's really fucked. I just need a strategy to get through this guy. So I can focus on the right thing. That fucking thing came early again. God damn it. Get fucked. Really?
this. Fuck you, cunt! Uh, I wanted one more try at that guy. And he fly kicked. <sighs> they need a more He-Man for sure. There's no He-Man in it. What are you talking about? Every time they show He-Man, it's a flashback for like three seconds. It's like, He-Man did this. Remember when He-Man did this thing and that thing? And then it goes back to like the show, which is garbage because there's no He-Man in it. You can't have... Look, I know the show's not called He-Man in the Masters of the Universe, but it's clear you can't take out the main character. That's what the fucking show is based on. It's based on He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and... I think the the remake was called the same thing. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. The new one's called Masters of the Universe. Like, on purpose. Like, we took out He-Man. Like, that's just shit. That's shit. You watch the show for He-Man. You know she's going to end up with the sword, right? That's, that's what it's all leading to. Like, you can just see. Like, <laughs> you can just see... The teal is going to become the sorceress, and a new girlfriend is going to be the one that wields the sword. You can just see all this shit moving into place. Now they might change it because of all this backlash. They can. It's everything's digital now. <laughs> That's what they do, though, dude. That's what they do. That's why people are mad because they they can s look. <laughs> I, I'm even like this with Mortal Kombat. I can see things that are going to be announced before they're announced because I just keep an eye open and just read the breadcrumbs. All you have to do is read the breadcrumbs on this new show and you can see, like, what they're doing. They're taking out, taking out all the male characters, you know, and just take, they've taken out He-Man. That, that, that's enough should, that enough should be, a, 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 alone should be enough to make you mad. Like, that's the, the whole show's based on. Hopefully, and, dude, there's, ah, uh, Vin, there's no end of lockdown, man. Just don't get your hopes up. This is what they're going to say. We've eased the restrictions. You can wear masks outside now and have one person over to your house. Just remember, last time, the lockdown from last time didn't end. They were easing restrictions. They didn't just end the lockdown. They say, hey, it's a snap five-day lockdown. It never is. It's just a lie, dude. That's what they'll do. They'll just ease some restrictions. That's all they're going to do, man. We're locked down. I'm supposed to be working. I ain't working. I get a few shifts. <clears throat> Thoughts on the new Marvel open world game? I don't know. I haven't played it. 
another awesome Game Boy stream. <laughs> yeah, I know, except I'm getting owned. My, I, the funny thing is, I played this the other night, just like, oh yeah, I'll play Double Dragon. I used to play that. And I almost beat the game. I got right to the end. And now I'm doing this, I'm, and I am kind of rushing. I'm trying to sort of sp get through it quickly. Uh, I'm trying to keep all my lives till the stupid cave level, because, like, that's so fucked, that part. And now I'm playing, like, garbage. <laughs> like, I, I did it first go last time. And I hadn't played it for, like, years. I admittedly sort of fluked through it, but still. Still. Freedom in bars and clubs. Yeah, we had freedom until people from Sydney fucking ruined it. You can't trust removalists. Removalists are just shit people, dude. I've never liked removalists. They stole, like, my phone card collection when I was a kid when we moved to Melbourne. They flogged my phone card collection from a kid. Can you believe that? They were packing my box, they were like, what's this? They were asking me about it. And I'm like, yeah, it's because I was sort of naive. This is my phone card collection. You know, it's worth a bit of money, you know, I've been working on it for years and years and years and years. They fucking stole it. By the time where I had a house, it was gone. Good luck proving that shit. So I've never liked removalists. I sent, I got, I, I sent a computer to my sister um, for her to use because she was, like didn't have a computer back in like I don't know 1999 or something, right? And the freight company fucking stole it. Like someone fucking stole it. It disappeared. The computer wasn't even fucking new. Like why steal a fucking computer for? Like get fucked. I actually um, gave her my first modem. It was a 33.6 KTX modem. <laughs> Never saw it again. I gave it to her so she could go on the internet. The worst part about that was it was covered by insurance, right? And it took like two years to get the insurance out of those fuckwits. That that fucking dodgy um, company, Fast by Careers, I fucking hate them. You know, um, for that reason, you know, two fucking years. They just fucking played games and all this shit. We have to write letters in the end. I have to threaten legal action. I don't like removalist careers in general. They just treat your stuff like shit. Going back to 2020, I'd rather die in lockdown again. Yeah, uh, well, we're on our fifth lockdown, mate. So, yeah. Fifth. We've had, like, half a year in lockdown in total days. Like, 186 days or something. <sighs> Tell me about it. I got to Shao Kahn and MK2 Game Boy, MK1 and then lost on hard mode. Uh, well, you did have it on hard mode. I beat him the other night. It was It's kind of tricky. I think I could beat him back in the day on hard. I think so. Get fucked. 
How bad is the how bad is Delta there? For one thing, I don't believe that the Delta strain is as bad as they're saying it is. I'm not saying it's not as bad, but uh, they really like go in on the news and say it's like terribly infectious and all this crap, and it's like the same numbers as the first time round with the coronavirus. So, but uh, in answer to your question, how bad is it here? Um, I think we have like Sydney has like 200 cases, and we had like. I don't know, a hundred in Melbourne or something like like it's it's piss weak, dude. Like it's not much at all. In, in the scale of the rest of the world, do you know what I mean? Like Brazil's got like twelve million, eleven million or something. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Oh, they exaggerate everything, dude. How's it gone? Yeah, Double Dragon. Yeah. I'd like to beat it. I used to be able to beat it. Not every time. Just need to get a good run on that, uh, on that cave. Get that figured out. I think I can get through the last level.
so fucking hard. See, I want to fly kick over his head. I need to get on the other side. That's the only way I can beat him, is to get on the other side of him. And it's really hard to get on the fucking other side of him. The White House is not taking the vaccine. See what I mean? Like, I just can't jump over the guy. I can, I can jump when I'm closer, but as soon as he gets near the edge, it's, it seems to do that automatic bounce off fucking thing. But like when he's in the corner, he does that duck, and then yeah, because then he can pick you up and <laughs> like. But as soon as you get near the edge and try it, you automatically like bounce off him. He doesn't do that duck thing.
Yes. See, that's how you do it. But I just can't do it every time. I've got one life. I doubt I'll get through the whole game. Yeah, I remember that name on my forums. Yeah, I remember. Oh, man. oh my god, first guy hits me, I kicked him straight away! Like fly kicks, huh?
Give it to a good knee to the face twice, then to splash in the water. So annoying to fight two at a time. Fuck. I just need to hit that first one. I like I knocked him down two times. 
I was like one hit away from getting the third knockdown, which would have killed him. And the other guy got so close he started doing all this somersault bullshit. And fucking... I don't know why, I jumped at the wrong fucking time. Fucking daydreaming. <sighs> my concentration's just shot lately, like... I just lost my concentration for like one second and then I went, Oh, I gotta jump now! And then, like, I was out of time for one second and because the lift moved away, I'm like, Oh, I should make it. And then the lift pulled away and I didn't make it. It was a really dumb mistake. Shit! I'm gonna get hit now. Alright, so get you. I want to one hit. You go when it, t when it touches and it's starting to go back. it when it comes when there's only one spot because you can't beat it. I know I can't fucking beat it. I hate that. It's supposed to come after two spikes and sometimes it comes, that rock, stupid rock comes too early. I think I'm pushing the screen ahead too far.
Oh my god, again. It's so fucking hard. It's like the worst... See, this level was never in the original Double Dragon. And I'm all for adding a new stage, and it's quite a good stage, but like, that part at the end's fucked. Like, it's really like... It just feels really, like, really cheap, the way you get stuck in the corner. Um, like that. Good, two spikes, now the rock comes. That's how it should be, every time. I made sure to not push the screen too far, because then you make it normally. See? Right. That's it, does that. When it's too close to the edge, it does that shit. You just bounce off him. But I can fly kick over him when it's closer to the edge of the screen. But, um, it's harder to hit him off the edge. Yeah, a bobo, yeah. Hmm. There's got to be a better tactic. I can't kick him. I can't fly kick him. I can't punch him. When it's in a 2D plane. So that's that's the thing that sucks. This this whole game, every time you fight a Bobo, it's on a 3D plane where you can walk diagonally and just go pa 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 pa. But that's the one time that they stick you on a 2D plane with him. And he just literally just... Ish, 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 and you can't move up or down and dodge it. So it's like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? You can't kick him. You can't fly kick him over him unless he's, like, right in the corner. So maybe I have to just do the elbow combo on him, like, fucking twice or something. I wonder if there's, like, any tips. Let's have a look. Double Dragon Game Boy tips. Long play. Double Dragon 2. Double Dragon Advance. You know, I never got that. I actually really wanted it. It never came out in Australia. I'm actually, I'm actually really pissed I never got it. Um, I think it's worth quite a bit now, too. Game Boy Mission 1. Walkthrough Mission 1. Let's see. Go to this guy's channel. What did he do? Mission 1, Mission 4, Mission 3, here we go. That's Ness. Game Boy. Game Boy, Mission 3. Where's Game Boy Mission 2? Title screen. Full playlist. Mission 2, there it is. Actually, I think it's mission three. Yeah, here we go. I want to see how this guy deals with this, the big guy. He walks to the edge. He does exactly what I was doing. He does exactly what I was doing.
Okay. We'll give it another shot, I guess. His Game Genie. You know, I have Game Boy Game Genie. I have it. I even have... There's a sticker on the back of Double Dragon with all the codes. Because, like, um, when you got Game Boy Game Genie, it had um, stickers for the, ga for the launch titles that were already out. You just stick them straight on the back of the cartridge. So it still has the sticker on the back of the cartridge. With all the codes. All right. Let me try again. For play only in USA. You know, I don't understand that. For play only in USA and Canada. I bought this in Australia. I bought this in fucking Australia. I still have the box and everything. It's got all the Australian shit on it. Why Why do they have that? It's so dumb. Oh, oh no, I played it in the wrong country. Shit. <laughs> it's on the arcade. It's on the arcade as well. For, for playing Japan or something. On the arcade board. I'm like... It's such a weird thing, such a weird condition to have on the title screen. So you walk up to the arcade for play only in uh, Japan. Oh shit, not Japan. I'm gonna walk away now. Play a different arcade game. <laughs> Complain to the operator. Yeah, uh, excuse me mate, it says I can't play it because um, only in Japan. He's gonna look at you like, are you okay? <laughs> Or ask, do you have uh, the one that uh, I'm allowed to play in Australia? It says I can't play this one because it's in Japan. And it says this one's only allowed to be played in Japan. <laughs> and like, I know you guys probably think like, oh, it's a silly thing to make fun of. But it's on like, my Ninja Turtle. It's on anything Konami, I think. This is Tato, actually. Uh, it's, it's on Ninja Turtles as well for play in Japan only or some shit. All these weird fucking conditions.
Gun. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. Moment of truth. straight through this level the first time. I can't believe it. Fucking two lives down the toilet on this piss easy level. Just broke because the third fucking dumb bitch is flying in me. I'm going to punch instead. See, it's something to do I'll keep that in mind for next time. Oh, I've still got two eyes. Still. Last one's hard.
last level. Come on, we can do this. Jobs! Bullshit! Last chance. Oh, I need the health! I thought this was gonna blow up. This stupid grenade didn't blow up. <laughs> That's one of the things that fucking threw me. Three health points, there's no chance. This is the end, mate.
Well, there's Willy! <laughs> that was the last guy. That's literally the last guy in the game. But he has the machine gun. I can't believe it. If that grenade shit hadn't happened where I got stuck and the guys just had me in the corner. I might have had a fucking chance. Oh, that, that was so fucking close. I forgot how hard this game is. Back in the day, I was pretty good. Like, I, like... I couldn't beat it every time. There'd be times when I'd just lose it. But, like, I had a lot of the patterns memorized. Like, when to jump, when to do a fly kick. Sort of how to get past that cave level. I always had trouble with the cave level. I sort of knew how to get through the rest of the game. But, like... I'm not sure really what the trick is to the... The things that come out of the wall there at the end. I think you sort of just got to go for it. You just got to run through it and and that. But the hardest part really is that cave level with the abobo. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm all double dragoned out. But I just sort of take another shot at it. And oh man, so close, man, so close. That last one. If I just had one more try. Oh, well, that's the way she goes. Anyway. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.